Why do U.S. aircraft carriers have no doors in the hangar bay? As colossal symbols of naval power, United States aircraft carriers dominate the seas with an imposing presence. These floating cities, brimming with advanced technology and a formidable fleet of aircraft, are marvels of engineering. Yet amid the intricacies of these naval behemoths, a peculiar feature stands out, the absence of doors in the hangar bay. On the world's largest aircraft carriers, where hangar bays store jet fighters worth billions of dollars, there's a surprisingly missing detail. No hangar doors. At first glance, this might seem like a simple design oversight or a cost-saving measure. But could there be more to it? A secret? An innovation? Or perhaps, as some jokingly suggest, a portal to another dimension? Of course, leaving the realm of fantasy aside, this mystery is too intriguing not to explore. How do these floating fortresses protect their precious cargo from the whims of weather and the threats at sea without the usual protection of hangar doors? What is the mystery and aim behind this design? Why do U.S. aircraft carriers have no doors in the hangar bay? This is the incredible topic for today. Hey, YouTube world. Welcome to Navy Sea Life. Are you ready to embark on a journey that transcends the ordinary and plunges into the extraordinary? If you crave the thrill of discovery, the joy of learning, and the wonder of the unknown, you've just stumbled on the gateway to a universe of enlightenment. So hit that subscribe button, ring the notification bell, and let's embark on this riveting adventure together. Get ready to challenge your perceptions, broaden your horizons, and most importantly, enjoy the thrill of uncovering the extraordinary in the ordinary. So stay with us till the end of the video to know these amazing facts. Let's start the video. If there's one thing we can say without a doubt, it's that aircraft carriers are the crown jewel of the American fleet. Imagine a runway that can travel anywhere. Carriers are just that. They can easily launch and recover aircraft at sea, allowing them to provide air support anywhere in the world. They allow navies to project air power over long distances without relying on local bases for aircraft operations. They're often referred to as floating cities at sea, essential for power projection, air superiority, and maritime security, which play an important role in modern naval operations. An aircraft carrier is a large warship designed to operate aircraft at sea, and we can say that aircraft carriers are a marvel of physics, engineering, and modern technology. The primary function of an aircraft carrier is to project air power over a large area, providing a significant strategic advantage in naval warfare. Aircraft carriers consist of two major components, a flight deck and a hangar bay. Flight deck. The flight deck is the top surface of the carrier where aircraft take off and land. It's equipped with catapults or a ski jump ramp at the bow to assist takeoffs and arresting gear such as arresting cables and nets for landing aircraft. Hangar bay. It's the most important feature of aircraft carriers. Located below the flight deck, the hangar bay is a large enclosed space where aircraft are stored, maintained, and prepared for flight operations. It also serves as a protected area for aircraft during adverse weather conditions. The hangar bay is essentially the aircraft carrier's garage. It's three decks high and surrounded by various single deck compartments on both sides. The hangar bay is located below the third level or the gallery deck. The bay itself is 110 feet wide, 25 feet high, and 685 feet long, more than two thirds the length of the entire ship. It can hold more than 60 aircraft, as well as spare jet engines, fuel tanks, and other heavy equipment, in four zones divided by sliding doors, a safety precaution to stop a fire from spreading. There are also four giant elevators, 3,880 square feet each, a little over three quarters of an acre, surrounding the hangar, which move the aircraft from the hangar to the flight deck. Now, we've learned about the hangar bay, let's move one step forward in the story. You must be thinking, 
Hangar bays have a lot of doors because such a big garage without any door is just impossible. Before unraveling the mystery of the hangar bay doors, it's imperative to understand the evolution of aircraft carrier design. From humble beginnings as converted warships to the majestic nuclear-powered behemoths of the modern era, aircraft carriers have undergone continuous transformation to meet the evolving demands of naval warfare. Central to this evolution is the optimization of space, weight distribution, and operational efficiency, factors that shape every aspect of carrier design, including the layout of the hangar bay. Naval aviation, unlike its land-based counterpart, demands a unique set of considerations. The confined space of an aircraft carrier necessitates innovative solutions to streamline the complex choreography of aircraft movements. At the heart of every aircraft carrier's mission lies the intricate choreography of flight operations. From the catapult launches that propel the aircraft into the sky to the arrested landings that bring them safely back to the deck, carrier-based aviation is a ballet of precision and coordination. The absence of hangar bay doors emerges as a strategic choice to facilitate the seamless flow of aircraft between the hangar deck and the flight deck. Contrary to intuition, the absence of doors in the hangar bay is not a design oversight, but a deliberate choice rooted in practicality and operational efficiency. The primary function of an aircraft carrier is to facilitate the rapid deployment and recovery of aircraft in a dynamic maritime environment. In this context, the presence of doors would introduce unnecessary complexity and potential points of failure hindering the swift ingress and egress of aircraft during critical flight operations. By eliminating doors, carriers streamline the flow of aircraft, reduce the risk of accidents, and enhance overall operational tempo, essential factors in the fast-paced realm of naval aviation. In the high-stakes environment of naval aviation, every second counts. The absence of hangar bay doors eliminates the need for time-consuming maneuvers associated with opening and closing doors, allowing for a continuous and unimpeded flow of aircraft between the hangar and flight decks. This streamlined approach to aircraft handling reduces turnaround times, enhances operational tempo, and maximizes the carrier's combat effectiveness in dynamic and fluid environments. The open configuration of the hangar bay not only streamlines aircraft handling, but also enhances the carrier's operational flexibility. Unlike traditional hangar door systems, which impose constraints on the size and type of aircraft that can be accommodated, the absence of doors allows for greater versatility in aircraft deployment. From fighter jets and reconnaissance aircraft to helicopters and unmanned aerial vehicles, U.S. aircraft carriers can readily adapt to evolving mission requirements without the logistical challenges posed by hangar door limitations. In the realm of naval warfare, where adversaries seek to exploit any perceived weakness, the absence of hangar bay doors serves as a strategic advantage. Traditional hangar doors are vulnerable points that can be targeted by enemy forces, potentially compromising the carrier's operational readiness. By foregoing doors altogether, U.S. aircraft carriers minimize vulnerabilities and enhance survivability in hostile environments, ensuring that they remain formidable assets in contested maritime theaters. Beyond its strategic implications, the absence of hangar bay doors also benefits the carrier's crew who work tirelessly in the demanding and often hazardous working conditions of naval aviation. The unobstructed flow of air, light, and communication between the hangar deck and flight deck enhances crew coordination and situational awareness, fostering a culture of safety and efficiency that is paramount to mission success. Conclusion. In the annals of naval history, U.S. aircraft carriers stand as monuments to human ingenuity, technological prowess, and strategic vision. The absence of hangar bay doors, once regarded as a curious anomaly, emerges as a testament to the relentless pursuit of efficiency, adaptability, and operational excellence that defines American naval power. 
From the hallowed decks of the USS Enterprise to the cutting edge innovations of the USS Gerald R. Ford, the decision to forego hangar bay doors encapsulates the spirit of innovation and forward thinking that has propelled the United States Navy to the forefront of maritime supremacy. As we navigate the intricate tapestry of carrier operations, the absence of hangar bay doors serves as a reminder of the strategic wisdom embedded within the seemingly mundane details of naval engineering. It's a symbol of the unwavering commitment to excellence that pervades every facet of U.S. naval power, from the design of carriers themselves to the dedication and professionalism of the men and women who crew them. In the ever-evolving landscape of modern warfare, where agility, adaptability, and resilience are paramount, the absence of hangar bay doors on U.S. aircraft carriers stands as a testament to the enduring legacy of American naval innovation. That's it for today. Hope you enjoyed the video and got lots of information. Stay connected with Navy Sea Life, and we'll see you in the next video with such interesting, surprising, and heartbreaking facts. Visit our channel for more. Take care.